Heavenly Father, we come to you today because we love the Word and we want to know what you have to say. And in order for us to discern that and to do that, we look to you for our very being, our breath to be able to do all of these things and we ask for humbly for your wisdom your knowledge and your understanding because you are <clears throat> excuse me the source and you are the power and you are what really matters in these evil days help us walk out your word because whether we like it or not we read the Bible and what you say and non-Christians read us and we are a walking talking epistle to them and we need to keep that very much in the forefront Lord and we need you to help us Keep our feet straight and where you want us to be. And we say all of these things in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen and Amen. 1 Chronicles 13 And David consulted with the captains of thousands and hundreds and with every leader. And David said unto all the congregation of Israel, If it seem good unto you that it be of the Lord our God, let us send abroad unto our brethren everywhere that are left in all the land of Israel, and with them also to the priests and Levites, which are in the cities and suburbs, that they may gather themselves unto us. And let us bring again the ark of our God to us, for we inquire not it in the days of Saul. And all the congregation said, that they would do so, for the thing was right in the eyes of all the people. So David gathered all Israel together from Shehorn of Egypt, even unto the entering of Hamath, to bring the Ark of God, capital G, from Kajirajerim. And David went up and all Israel to Bala, that is, Kijarajerim, which belongeth to Judah, to bring up thence the ark of God the Lord that dwelleth between the cherubims, whose name is called on it. And they carried the ark of God in a new cart out of the house of Abinadab and Uziah and Ahio and drave the cart and David and all Israel played before God with their might and with their singing and with their harps and with the psalteries and with the timbrels, and with the cymbals, and with the trumpets. And when they came onto the threshing floor of Chidon, Uziah put forth his hand to hold the ark, for the oxen stumbled, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah. And he smote him, because he put his hand to the ark, and there he died before God. And David was displeased, because the Lord had made a breach upon Uzzah. Wherefore, that place is called Perezuzah to this day. 
And David was afraid <clears throat> of God that day, saying, How shall I bring the ark of God home to me? So David brought not the ark home to himself, to the city of David, but carried it aside unto the house of Obadom the Gittite. And the ark of God remained with the family of Obadon in his house three months. And the Lord blessed the house of Obadon and all that he had. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your precious word. And we thank you for writing it, writing it upon the tablets of our heart. Thank you, Lord, as we walk out the rest of this day, that we know that you are with us, and we are grateful indeed. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for all, and that you are our supply, and you meet our need every day. Thank you, Lord. We say all of these things. In the name of Jesus, my Lord, my Savior, my Ishi Yeshua, amen and amen. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day and until next time. Bye-bye.